I want every single one of you to know that you are loved, you are precious, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You all do matter. Just want you to know that. Whatever you may be going through in your life, just know that you're never alone. You got someone who loves you so much, and that's God. And then what? You're going to be like, your God is a stupid statue? It's not a... No. No. When you worship a statue, that's a false God. Sin is a very bad thing. And I hate sin. I rebuke the devil and I rebuke every evil spirit that is in this world. I rebuke every evil thing. That the devil gets out of people, that the demons get out. That they get casted out in Jesus' name. If you're brave enough to have a simple dialogue with me, you're more than welcome to. You may question me, you may give me hard questions, but if I don't understand something, it's okay to say I don't know. Like an exam, for instance, like in an exam for school, you don't know the answers to every question. You struggle. Every day is a challenge. Every day is a choice. And then you're wondering, who do you, th you're probably wondering like, who do you think you are talking like that? Oh, who am I? I'm nothing more, nothing less, but a follower of Christ. That's what I am. That's what I am. And I'm just a human being living a life according to the Lord. That's what I am too. A human being doing the best he can to have a simple life. But just know this. God is love. And John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have ever but have everlasting life, hallelujah. I know the devil has children. I know that there are de demons are everywhere. Demons could be nearby. It doesn't matter, they could be in any person. They love to take over a host. I guess in a way like a bacteria. What is there to hide from? On the day of judgment, there'll be no hiding. You may not believe it, but God is angry with the world of doing its evil. You don't believe me? Just want you to know that God is angry. He's angry with the world for doing evil, for rebelling against Him. All right, well, I have a few verses or so, yeah. Starting with, um, let me see, I have a few verses. I would say Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. All right, Isaiah 5, 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, 
that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Oh, that's happening right now as we speak, folks. And we all need a savior. And that's Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of his name. You may tell me to shut up, but I won't. Because I have no reason to be ashamed. Why should I be ashamed? You know what a person should be ashamed of? Their sin. That's what they should be ashamed of. That should be the thing to be ashamed of, the sin. Sin is not a game. It's serious, guys. And then, Rome, and then, in, and then in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Salvation is a free gift. You don't earn it. It's free. And then also back to John chapter 3. And then John 3.17 For God sent not his son, sent not his son, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their, de their deeds were evil. And then John chapter 5, 28 and 29. John chapter 5, 28 and 29 verses, those verses. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. And then Hebrews 9.27. You're not going to shut me down so easily, devil. The devil who's out in the world hurting the people. He will not shut me down so easily. Even if he has minions and children of his, children of the devil, I will not be shut down. Hebrews 9.27. And as it... And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Every day is a battle. There's two sides. Those who are with the Lord and those who are with the devil. I'm telling you folks, it's a war every day spiritually.
And then Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. None of us are good. We all have sinned, fallen short of the glory. Yep, that's right. All of us, none of us are good. But we can be forgiven through repentance. Listen to me very well, haters. I just want you to know that God loves you and He doesn't hate you. He loves you so much. I love you as well. Just know that. I love you all so much, I don't hate you. You may hate me, but I love you. God loves you as well. If the devil ever tells you that God hates you, just know that's deception from the devil and that those are lies, that's a lie from the pits of hell. Because God loves everybody. God doesn't hate you. What God hates is evil. He hates sin. But he loves the people. He loves the person. And every time I see this one-way sign, it's a good reminder to know that there's only one way to heaven, and that's for Jesus. And Jesus is the way. He's the only way to heaven. If someone tells you any different and they think there's more than one way, let them be accursed. They are foolish. Because there's only one way. And according to Matthew chapter 7, it makes clear that road leads to destruction and that narrow leads to life. I don't want any of you to perish. No. The only reason why people perish is because they choose to without noticing through their actions, through the things they say. The one who makes me ultimately angry is the devil, who loves to use people against me, anything against me. But I forgive others. I do. The real enemy is the devil. El enemigo, el enemigo real is el diablo, Satanás. You want to know the story of? You want to know the? You want to know the origin story of the devil? His original name was Lucifer. He was a beautiful angel created by God. But one day, he betrayed God and was puffed up with pride. He wanted to be like God. But you know what led to his downfall? His pride. He got kicked out of heaven. Because he wanted to be like God. He wanted to be above God. And it cost him everything. I don't want you guys to end up like him. Don't end up like that. Don't end up being filled up with pride. When you speak and you say you're above God, that's blasphemy. It's mockery. He's above us, not, not us above him. He's above. There's so much blasphemy everywhere. When they say God is a woman, that's an offense. That's offensive. That's an insult. That's a, that's a blasphemy thing to say. God was a man. Yes, he was. And Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. 
Jesus is the Son of God, but Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Jesus is the true Messiah. Jesus Cristo es el verdad Mesías, if I'm saying that right for Messiah in Spanish. Nunca voy a aceptar ese marca de la bestia, nunca. I'll never accept that mark even if it costs my life. Nunca la voy a aceptar, nunca. Demons tremble when I speak of Jesus. The devil backs away. And there will be a consequence, a punishment for accepting the mark of the beast. The lake of fire, la lago de fuego, segunda muerte. Spiritual death, some would say. I do not want any of you to end up there. Don't end up there. I do not want you there. Ahora es la día de salvación. Today is the day of salvation. We are not saved by good works. We are saved by grace through faith. But we do good. We could do good works. And then you're probably gonna say, like, can you keep your voice down? You're being annoying. Says who? Says the government? I know I'm supposed to submit to my authorities, so I'll do that. But I'll be respectful. But if they're doing it just because of my faith, that's no excuse. If they're telling me to keep it down because of my faith, discrimination, bigotry. There are bigots everywhere, bigots. Discrimination is not okay. And yeah, there's gonna be people that are gonna be like Christophobes, homophobes, I mean, sorry, sorry. Christophobes and Biblephobes. There's nothing wrong with God. He is the Almighty, and He was around from the very beginning. And our Lord is the Alpha and the Omega, beginning and the ending, first and the last. And He is eternal. Si tú crees en otro Dios, estás perdido. You're lost. And then you're going to be like, what Jesus do you believe in? I believe in Jesus of the Bible. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. That's what I am if you, question, if you try to question me about that. Because I know there's only one. You think there's more than one? You're mistaken. You could spit at me. You could throw anything at me you want. You may attack me, but I always love you. You could even call me annoying if you want, but when you're on, when you're standing before God on the day of judgment, you're gonna be like, I, I wish I had never said those things to that person. You're gonna regret it. But God loves you all, you know. You're not alone. Nunca estás solo. Jesus Christ is my force. He's my strength. He's our strength. Come to Jesus before it's too late. You know how much time left. Any day could be the day. People die every day.
Does anyone in the crowd believe in Jesus? If you don't want to answer, that's fine. Your choice. You can choose to be how you want to be. I'm not going to force you. I believe there's no such thing as a dumb question, folks. It doesn't matter how many of you come at me, 100, 1,000. I'm not going to run away. The reason why I might ask this question, who believes in Jesus, is because there's many unbelievers out there in the world. A lot of atheists. A lot of people who worship false gods. That's why I ask that. I can raise my voice up if I have to in a respectful manner. It's not like I'm trying to talk back to anyone. When you talk back to your teacher, that is disrespectful. I don't need to give attitude. Tough crowds, eh? That's fine. I find it very ridiculous how peop how sin is everywhere. I admit I have sinned too. We all have. I'm not perfect either. I'm not good either. He loves us all. I don't want to waste my time with people who don't want to hear my message. Those people don't have to talk to me if they don't want to. I'd rather talk to those who are interested in my message. You want to mock? Don't talk to me. You want to make mockery out of God and make fun of God? Don't talk to me. Sorry. Make fun of, you don't, no, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. But if you're interested, you want to give your life to Jesus today, then talk to me. But if it has to do with something and you're against God, you could just zip it and shut your mouth. Well, zip it actually. Hallelujah! The devil is a coward. The devil is evil. The devil is an accuser. He's a coward, a liar. Hurts people, a manipulator, a puppet master. The deceiver of all. I can do this all day if I have to. If 100 or 1,000 of you come at me, so be it. 
If you want to hear my message, that's fine. You're welcome to. But if it's 101,000 of you and you go against me, I'm going to walk away. I'd rather spend my time talking to people who want to hear the truth. And you know what they say, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, that's in the Bible. Ooh, I'm shaking because of the devil. And I, I don't need to be afraid of that piece of garbage. The devil who's everywhere. And what? Oh no, oh no. I'm being defeated. No, I don't think so. He makes people feel defeated. He already lost. He loves to make people feel like they've been defeated. Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And another important one, Isaiah 55, 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. 